Welcome to PEMF Therapy. We are excited that you have chosen our PEMF technology to help manage the health and wellness of your animals, so to guide you in the use of your device. Connecting and turning on your device. Be sure you do not have your car key, credit cards, cell phone, or any electronic devices closer than 18 inches to an attachment while pulsing. Always connect an attachment before turning on the device. Always turn off the device before disconnecting an attachment. Use a surge protector to protect from voltage spikes in the line. It should have a low clamping voltage rated for 1000 plus joules and 15 to 20 amps. When using an alternative power source such as a generator or car battery with an inverter, it should have enough current for the device you're running and produce a pure sine wave. Be sure to place the device in a location that protects it from damage to hot, cold, or wet. To select an attachment. Select an attachment based on the area to be treated or the level of trauma. The largest attachment available should be selected for overall maintenance. The smallest attachment available would be best for an acute problem in an area with limited circulation. If the equine has been working hard and needs PEMF to help him or her recover more quickly or to maintain performance at the top of its ability, the equine wings would be an effective choice. If the horse has a torn tendon, the paddle will be a better choice. If you have the 18 inch loop or the butterfly loops, choose the largest loop to cover a larger area and the smaller of the two for a more specific treatment area. To apply PEMF to the treatment area, use the face of the attachment, a loop, paddle or mat against the treatment area or put a body part through the inside of a loop or between the loops of a butterfly attachment. Setting the intensity level will differ with the type of device you operate. Digital devices have preset intensity levels that you select with the up and down arrows. Spark chamber devices have an intensity rotary dial that turns counterclockwise to increase the intensity and clockwise to decrease it. Some equines might be anxious about a loop touching them. If the animal is skittish or has never been treated with PEMF, lay the loop on its front left shoulder before selecting a treatment time and an intensity level. Once the animal is comfortable with the weight of the loop in place, select a treatment time and the lowest intensity possible to begin with. Slowly increase the intensity to a level that the animal is comfortable with. Use caution when applying PEMF to the head, large muscle groups or areas with excess inflammation or nerve damage. Use extreme caution and possibly refrain from using PEMF in the event a horse is being treated for EPM or is pregnant, dehydrated, toxic, has chances of internal bleeding or needs to heal at a controlled rate. Take into consideration any medication being given to the animal as PEMF can make all chemicals more bioavailable medication that is given in a specified amount to produce a specific outcome should be considered carefully as PEMF therapy may increase the effectiveness of the medication. Once you have selected the optimal intensity for the left shoulder, you can treat the other areas by slightly moving the attachment away from the body to the next treatment area. Increasing the distance between the attachment and the treatment area decreases the intensity level without having to turn the intensity rotary dial or setting on the device. However, it is recommended to manually turn down the intensity level to treat the head and upper neck as potentially painful conditions such as nerve damage, cavities, abscesses, etc. may cause intense discomfort. Here are some recommendations for your PEMF session. Develop your own routine from the instructions on how to get started and our following suggestions. Treat the lower neck, shoulders, withers, elbows, and heart girth first. Then, assuming the horse is agreeable, move up the neck to the head, TMJ hyoid, and pole area. Work along the spine superficially at the top of the spinous processes as well as deep by the vertebrae rib connection. Move to the area of the lumbosacral junction, sacroiliac joint, glutes, quads, hip joint, stifle joint, 
hock joint, and hamstrings. Raise the level of intensity and pulse the lower extremities. The 18-inch loop works very well for the neck, nuchal ligament, neck shoulder junction, scapulohumeral joint, longissimus muscles, lungs, heart, psoas, and hamstrings. The butterfly attachment works well on TMJ, pole, sinuses, eyes, elbow, carpus, fetlock area, navicular bone, hoof abscess, hip joint, stifle, hock, rear fetlock, and navicular. The equine wings work well on the whole head and neck region, the thoracic region, and hind quarters. The equine wings are perfect for general stamina maintenance. The paddle works well on TMJ, hoof abscesses, deep neck or lung issues, hip joint, or any area lending itself to concentrated PEMF. The paddle also works well to detox the liver, kidney, and colon. PEMF therapy may also help with stress relief when the horse is dehydrated, toxic, or extremely anxious. An attachment can be placed within hearing distance of the horse and turned on to achieve stress relief through brainwave entrainment. The amount of time spent in one area will vary from horse to horse and session to session. To be effective, a three-minute treatment per area per session is appropriate. It may take longer treatment time to reduce inflammation. The frequency of sessions will be dictated by the desired outcome, targeted issues, and economy. A general guideline for chronic issues might require continued use to resolve, while acute issues might require a more intense, short-term intervention. For example, an arthritic joint would benefit from PEMF for 10 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes in the evening, daily. That's not always economically or geographically feasible, but the idea is to be consistent with frequent use for an extended period of time. On the other hand, a severe cut might require 20 to 30 minutes every day, once or twice a day, until healed. Another concept to keep in mind is that spot sessions are not nearly as effective if not following a recent full body session. A full body session every third day with spot sessions every day in between is a good starting place. PEMF therapy sessions can be adapted to any situation. Here are the characteristics of our PEMF devices. All our devices are high power, low frequency PEMF generators. The digital devices have a secondary low power Schumann resonance frequency. This is one of the unique features of our devices, and it's unlike any of the other low-powered PEMF devices on the market, which operate at Schumann Resonance 7.83 Hz. The digital devices have pre-selected intensity levels, whereas the spark chamber devices have a rotary intensity dial for variable levels of intensity. Both digital and spark chamber devices have treatment time selection controls. The higher the intensity a device can generate, the deeper the therapy penetrates and pain reduction will occur more rapidly. Even our devices that generate less intensity are still high power in the industry and are quite effective. PEMF Systems is the only technology-based company with the unique ability to offer high and low power frequency machines. We welcome you into this spectacular world of alternative health, wellness, and performance. This cutting-edge technology can change your health, wellness, and functionality.